And an update tonight on a horse roundup in Grand County we first told you about last month. Two ranch hands responsible for caring for the more than 100 horses have now been charged in the case, and the majority of the horses have been returned to the owner of a stable near Granby. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter, Spencer Wilson, sorting everything out tonight. And Spencer, you've been trying to get more answers today. Jim, the Grand County Sheriff has told us repeatedly that this investigation was done thoroughly and conducted appropriately and still stands by the seizure of more than 100 horses of that stable. In the meantime, the owner of that stable has been cleared of any criminal culpability in this case. In mid-January, nearly 150 horses were taken from Snow Mountain Stables in Grand County near Granby. Those horses were taken on the basis that they were unhealthy and needed to be rescued from the care of the stables. Now the Grand County Sheriff's Office has sent out arrest warrants for Duke Zerface, the ranch manager, and Teresa Legrande, a ranch hand, for 94 counts of animal cruelty. According to the Sheriff's Office, veterinary professionals believe 18 horses are permanently injured, lame, and ill, and should be medically retired. Michael Brooks, the stables vet, had questions about why all these horses were being taken in the first place when we spoke with him in January, especially after they returned many of them within the next week. I said, uh, why are we doing this? He says, well, the horses are thin. Uh, they need to be confiscated. I said, these horses are fine. The sheriff's office couldn't comment today, but said this all started from a report. These are made based on the fact that we received complaints. Those complaints were received. They were initially investigated, which led to the application of a search warrant, which was approved. And once that search warrant was approved, then we followed the judge's direction in executing that search warrant. Now the stables are on YMCA of the Rockies property, the case and investigation went into, saying that YMCA of the Rockies is not involved in this whatsoever. They did tell us, though, that the uh, lease for Snow Mountain Stables is being cut short by YMCA of the Rockies. Live near the Mountain Newsroom, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.